So a lot of people may say, what do I need to get a soil test for? My grass is green, I'm dominating the block, and I got everybody giving me compliments. Why do I need to go digging up my lawn? Well, you get a soil test because you want to find out what is actually going on in your soil. And when you do that, you will know what fertilizers you need to apply, what fertilizers you need to stay away from. You will know where you are deficient in your lawn, what macro and micronutrients you need to add to balance your lawn out. So in this video, really quick, we're going to talk about the importance of a soil test. So I'm gonna hop in the vehicle really quick. We're gonna go take a trip to go see Bethany at my local extension office and get her opinion on soil tests. I'm Bethany Pratt with um, the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service here in Jefferson County. I'm the horticulture agent. Um, the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service is the public education arm of UK's College of Agriculture. Um, so we're here to help support you in a variety of things. So is there any particular things that anyone would need to look at their lawn, look at their soil, and do before they actually go out and start applying things in their lawn? Yeah, so one of the most important things to do in your home lawn care plan is to do a soil test. Um, so what a soil test does is it tells us the nutrients that are currently available in the soil under your lawn right now. Mm -hmm. And then it also tells you what's missing. Um, that way you can have a plan before you go out and purchase anything. So as you're thinking about soil testing and planning for the year, um, so we're, we're at the beginning of March, kind of end of winter, beginning of March. Grass is still dormant, but it's starting to wake up for having some warm days. So right now is the time to do a soil test before your lawn really starts going. That way you can really get the most bang for your buck for any kind of fertilizer or lawn care treatment that you're planning on. So can you let everyone know why it is important for you to be able to have a soil test before you make any type of applications? Soil testing is really critical to kind of building your best and happiest lawn. Our soil test tells you the nutrients that are available in your soil right now for your plants to feed on, but it also tells you what's missing. Um, plants, just like people, need to eat a balanced diet of a lot of different things. The only way we can know whether or not they are getting that balanced diet is by looking and seeing what nutrients are available in the soil for them. Which is why it's super important to think about doing that early before while our plants are still dormant, which is right now in winter. That way we can, when our plants start to wake up in the spring, we can be ready to feed them exactly the foods that they need. So some people know about soil tests and some people don't know about soil tests. Mm -hmm. I want to touch bases with the people who know about soil tests, but they still don't apply them. They're throwing different type of chemicals down on their lawn, not knowing what those chemicals can be doing to their lawn. So can you let the people know why it is important for them to be able to get a soil test, regardless if they don't want to apply it and do any type of soil testing to their lawn? I think the most important thing about why, why you should do a soil test, number one, it is an economic savings for you. That way you are only spending money on the lawn products that you need. Um, because a lot of our lawns here in Louisville tend to maybe need only very specific nutrients, which means that if you're, blind, if you're purchasing a, or applying a generalized type of fertilizer or treatment, you run the risk of either over fertilizing or under fertilizing and causing other nutrient imbalances. Again, plants just like people can um, suffer from overnutrition, just like we can. Um, and they can also develop other diseases if they are seeing really increased rates of nutrients that they don't necessarily need. A soil test is just a really great way to make sure that you are feeding the plants what they need when they need it, 
rather than kind of guessing and hoping that it works. And none of our plants can get up and go to the refrigerator and get out the food that they want. Um, and the soil test helps us bring the correct food to the correct plant. It provides information on soil pH, um, as well as the nutrients. And then the best part is it gives you instructions about what to do and the rate of application for all of those things. I have a saying that I always say, investigate before you invest. That way you don't go out there and go spend money on fertilizers that you don't need. For example, let me go ahead and pick on malorganite since everyone is familiar with it. Everyone knows that malorganite has phosphorus in it. But what if your soil test says that your phosphorus levels are through the roof? Well, you don't need to apply malorganite because the only thing that's going to do is tie up your other nutrients. But what if your soil test says that you're low on potassium and then you're applying malorganite? Well, malorganite doesn't have any potassium in it, so it's not going to do you any good to invest into malorganite and it's not going to help your line at all. Investigate before you invest. So getting a soil test is always going to let you be one step ahead of where you need to be because you will know what you need to purchase and what you don't need to purchase. And that is the importance of having a soil test. Now I know a lot of people are going to say, man, I'm not going to get a soil test. My line is fine. If you don't want to get a soil test, I'm not pressuring you. I'm not forcing your hand. I'm just letting you know it is important to get one because if you do get one, one, you will know what you need to do and what you don't need to do. Getting a soil test is just another tool that you can be able to use to help you balance out your line and help you dominate the block. Hey, because everybody has dreams of having a dark green line, right? The dream is free, but the grind and the hustle, they so separate. Get your soil test, get your analysis back, and then start making data-driven decisions.